All right, welcome back to Lorelei. This is part two. Um, we just uh, got killed um, by our stepdad. And now we're here, which is awesome. Wait. And we're missing the boss. I wonder if I can look at anything in here. Yeah. Keep moving, keep moving. Well, that's got some stamina, that's for sure. I can save some time if I cut through this alleyway. This alleyway? Ooh. Oh, hell no. What's up, dog? Oh, no, 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 no. What? Dude. You can't just park here. Uh. Hey. Move That's not car, good. Mate. Please. Twat. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, I'm not picking it up with my bare hands. But there's a but there's a Fish. dog. And it stinks. I can smell it from here. All right. We'll see. I can smell it. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Kitty cat, what were you doing in that stinking old bin? Eaten. Somehow I know this cat is my ticket out of this bloody alley. Shoo! Mm. Oh, I'm not picking it up with right, my bare okay. hands. Don't. I'll see if I care. Looks like someone's thrown away some perfectly good veggies. What a waste. Yeah, grab the cucumber. Okay. Boxes. Somehow Oops. I know this. It's just a pile of dirty cardboard boxes. Or There's is nothing it? In them. Let's use the cucumber That's first. That's not going to work. Really? All right, let's use. Somehow I. Oops. Let's use the cucumber this cat, on the cat. I should probably put it somewhere the cat won't see straight away. Okay. It's common knowledge that cats are scared of cucumbers. That is true. Right. I'll just put it here, right behind him. Yeah, you can find videos on YouTube. Oh, what's this behind him? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that's disturbing. All right. I could plug something in here. You sure could. Um. I 
could never take a bath in it again. Yeah. Not after seeing Mum hanging on it. Okay. Someone could slip on this wet floor. Okay, let's, um... Go this way. Oh wow, look at that. I can't explain why, but I feel like whatever's behind this gate is calling me. It's bloody locked. Of course it is. Hmm. Oh. It almost fell down. Do it again. Oh. It's actually a mask. Let's take it. Alright. Then we have the mask. Wow. That's really cool. Okay, we're back here. from my old life is my bedroom. All right, let's go in here then. <clears throat> okay. It looks like me, but I know it's not real. It's all just another dream, right? I think I'll leave it where it is. There's a huge hole in the wall. I can see the living room on the other side. Guess let's go this way. Um. Is this... John? Oh, it's the key. Maybe this key would open the gate in the field. Too bad it's firmly stuck in his hand. to do that? I guess so. That's it. Interesting. Oh, hello. It's our old fridge. Oh, there's the head. Let's take that with us. Let's go. 
put that where it belongs. There we go. Perfect. It's empty. I promised I'd keep you safe. Oh, bump the bed. Okay. Let's take that. You'll put that on the body in the kitchen. It's empty. True. Okay, so what did that do? Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're going to need to do this. Tail it to the gate. All right, almost there. Sweet, we did it. I know this house. Could this be my shelter in this strange world? Sort of. Oh. What's this? The... Dear Laura. Oh. Sadly, I couldn't be here tonight to welcome you. But please make yourself at home. The door is open. Last room upstairs is yours. Get some sleep. When you wake up, I'll be here. Hmm. What a lonely seashore. Ah, uh, yes. Queen of Maggot's house. It almost makes this place look like home. Uh oh. Game crashed. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll just see what happens here. Alright. If it doesn't do that again...
Oh, here we go. Squeaky old stairs. Hopefully I'll have edited that part out. Last room upstairs. There's a strange symbol drawn on this door. I guess this is where I'm supposed to be staying. Let's go in. Looks comfy enough. Be hard to sleep with all these mannequins staring and moving. Yeah, it's kind of terrifying. It's my whole life, all my hopes and dreams dead. I still remember how alive I felt this morning when I stood in front of that house. So out of breath from trying to get there on time. I was their new girl, starting a new life. Flashback. Residential and nursing care for the elderly. Hmm. You must be the new girl. You're late. Yeah, well. I'm sorry. The bus didn't stop. And then there was this horrible dog and... Excuses, excuses. I'm not interested. It's bad enough that we're short of staff when you haven't had your training yet. I'm a fast learner. Well, we'll see if that's true. Hmm. Hmm. You need a uniform. You can't walk around here dressed like this. All right. Okay. Go upstairs. Maria's up in the laundry room. She'll help you find it. Excellent, Maria. We got this. It's for staff and visitors, I think. I don't need anything from there. Oh, I thought you might put your jacket down. Um, Irene, Joyce, June, bathroom. It's the second staircase leading down to the main lounge. All right, well, that's the wrong way. Uh, laundry room. Perfect. <clears throat> Are you? Yeah! Oh, nice. Bloody hell! <laughs> you nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, silly me. Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, it's not your fault. I scare way too easily. I'm just silly like that. Anyway, you must be the new girl. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Laura. But everyone calls me Lorelei. That's pretty. Nice to meet you, Lorelei. And you. Uh -huh. Have you been working here long, Maria? Make some conversation. Well, it will be three years soon. God. Three years in this crumbling old crap hole. It's that bad. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Depends who you work with, really. Like, you can't get on with everyone, can you? I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. I've never had a job before, but I really want to do well. You know, I want to prove that I can do this. You'll be fine. 
I'll look after you. Great. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. It's right there, on the shelf, waiting for you. The blue one? Yep, same as mine. It's green. You'll get a couple more next week. They've been ordered, but there's some kind of delay. Ugh, I don't know. Right. Let's get changed, then. Okay, you go ahead. I'll meet you downstairs by the nurse's station. Oh, one more thing, Lorelai. Yes? You met Zoe, the senior carer, right? The one with the big bum and, like, really bad manners? I think so, yeah. Well, don't worry too much about her. She's got her knickers in a twist over many things, but I assure you, none of them is your fault. Okay. So, just keep smiling and she'll be all right eventually, yeah? Well, I'll try. Thanks for the heads up. Good. See you in a minute, Lorelai. Which is chipper. I don't know why I did that. Hey, you look great, Lorelai. Alright, I guess we're gonna go back down the stairs. To the nurse's station, right? Examine okay, that wheelchair. It looks shabby. Probably been used a lot. Let's ride around. I can walk just fine on my own. Fine. Is this the way? Ah, yes. You took your time, didn't you? Are you always late for everything? I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I should really hope so. Mm. This is a serious institution. There's no room here for slackers. Or loafing. Well, I guess I should introduce you now. Girls, we have a new carer with us today. Her name's Laura. Hi. You've already met Maria. That's Nisha. She's from India. Okay. Hello, Nisha. And I'm Zoe. I'm one of the senior carers, and I'm in charge in the absence of Mr. B the manager and the owner of Pinecroft. He's the chap who did your job interview last week, Laura. Yes, I remember him. We must ensure the place is in top shape in case he pops in to check on us. The night staff have already handed over to us and they've gone home. You missed that, Laura. Whoops. Because you were late. Okay. There are 15 elderly residents living here in Pinecroft. Most of them suffer from advanced dementia and Alzheimer's. Some can be difficult. Excellent. Some can be aggressive. Even better. So I'd like Laura to shadow one of you girls today. Nisha, would you mind showing Laura what to do? Can I do it? No, Maria. <laughs> Nisha's worked here longer than you, and... Mr. B asked me to go around with Laura yesterday. I promised him I would. But... You don't mind, Nisha, do you? I don't mind. Thanks. You're a star, Nisha. Fine. Whatever. I'll work upstairs with Nisha, then. You two will wash and dress the ladies on the ground floor. Oh, boy. Oh. And that new lady who moved in last night into Beryl's old room. She's yours, too. Really? Yes. She's easy. Didn't even move so far, apparently. Huh. I'm sure you can manage. You coming, Nisha? Already.
Did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? Of course not. No. Mr. B doesn't give a rat's ass. But shush. Shh. That's between me and you, yeah? Why did you choose to work with me? Oh, you know, I like to punish myself. No, really. That was nice what you did. No offense to Nisha. But I think I'll enjoy shadowing you more. Of course you will, because I'm the best. Are you racist? You might well be, but your days are numbered. Just wait and see. The new girl will climb right to the top. <laughs> Please do. Then you'll have to work with Zoe every day. Oh. Huh? Why? She likes to work with the best ones, so they do everything for her. Oh. Well, I think it's official. Zoe hates me. She is a bit of a bully, I told you earlier. But don't let it upset you. You did the right thing playing it low earlier. Just smile, say sorry, and go on about your business like nothing happened. Done and done. But we shouldn't really be talking about it here. So... What do we do now? We should start working, I guess. But first, let me show you a couple of things. This little desk is what we call our nurse's station. Hello, nurse's station. That's where we keep care files and stuff. This white door in the middle, that's kitchen. Mm -hmm. Don't bother talking to Al. He's a good chef, but he drinks too Alcoholic? Much. Everyone knows that. That's the main lounge. There's another one, but smaller. You probably went past it earlier. Probably. Fire extinguisher? <laughs> I know, boring. But you'll be getting your fire training every six months. Triangle of fire and all that. <laughs> I promise you'll be sick of it. And what's that fancy panel for? That? Oh. It's the alarm bell panel. You see, there's a bell in every room. If someone needs help, they ring it. The display will show you the room number. You silence the bell here, and then you go see what's happening. Easy enough. But... No one ever uses it. Oh. Unless by accident. These poor old ladies can't even remember their own names most of the time, let alone something like this. Oh. Yeah. I think we'll start with Marjorie. All right. She's a nice lady. Follow me. It says Marjorie on the door. Okay. I guess we go in. Don't even knock. Hello, my darling. What a beautiful morning, isn't it? And we have Lorelai with us today. She's a lovely young lady. She's helping us today. Hiya. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. Lovely flowers. I bet you have a big loving family that thinks about you all the time. It's weird. As a matter of fact, it was Marjorie's 85th birthday yesterday. Everyone came, didn't they? Even your brother Derek from Australia. Uh. Why is this carpet so badly stained? Well, some stains just never come off. This one here is blood from when Marjorie tried to get up on her own a few months back. I'm sorry I asked. Oh no. The other ones are mostly toileting accidents. It's just one of those things. You'll get used to it after a while. Okay. Okay. What now? Now, we get Marjorie washed and dressed. Please, uh, take the two flannels from the sink. The white one is for the face. Mm-hmm. The brown one... It's for the bomb. You know.
Yoink. Now fill up the sink with hot water. Oh. She hasn't even got a toothbrush. She doesn't need one. She doesn't have any teeth. She hasn't got teeth, <laughs> Lorelai. Done. Marjorie, my darling. It's time for your wash. Give us a hand, would you? She can't walk on her own. Marjorie's clothes are kept in there. Cool. So still. Almost like a wax figure. I wonder what she's thinking right now. Here we go. And now we just need to get that nightie off. It felt... wet. Yeah. The night staff only put a small pad on her. Oh, they should have known better. Anyway, shall we? Yes, we shall. Marjorie, could you lift up your arms for us, please? All right. You're doing really well so far, Lorelei. But now comes the tricky part. Which is? We have to wash her. Now, some people struggle at first. I'll do it if it's too much too soon. But you are welcome to try. It's up to you. Sure. I'll do it. Okay. Brilliant. I got an achievement. I'll do it. I'll just have a little stretch on the bed. And pretend it doesn't smell of wee. Am I doing it right, Maria? Yeah. You know, Marjorie used to be just like you and me. Young and pretty. Full of life. At 17, she fell in love with George. And they were married for 50 years. Can you imagine? Ifty. I couldn't even last two with my hubby. But George, bless his soul, was a kind and gentle man. He'd never hit his wife. Weird God, thing to... It broke her heart when he died. But anyway, she was just a little girl when the war started. And she saw it, you know? Bombs falling on London. The city on fire. It's like a flashback within a flashback. off. That's a comfy bed you've got here, Marjorie. Finished. I suppose we should find some clothes now? Yep. Yeah. Open the wardrobe and find something you like. Something I like. <coughs> um, I like that. <gasps> wow, Marjorie. We better hide all the men today, because in that dress, you're going to make them all fall in love. Wait, Lorelei. I'll help you with this. Has some aggressive clothes uh, putting on. <gasps> Marjorie. You look absolutely beautiful. Let's 
take you to the lounge so everyone can admire this smashing outfit. Yes, let's. All right, we've got one ready for the day. Now we can go to Dorothy. She's only next door to Marjorie, where we've just been. Okay. Or we can try Alma. Her room's just past the nurse's station. Your call. Uh, let's go see Dorothy. Alma, that's the name of the girl in uh, Fear, isn't it? Let's go see Dorothy next. Okie doke. Let's go. We. So dark in here. Oh, this is not fun. Oh, Dorothy likes her sleep. She could stay in bed all day. That's one thing we have in common, Dorothy and me. Because otherwise, she's a grumpy old hag, especially first thing in the morning. Hello, Dorothy. Rise and shine. Come on now. I know you're awake. Now, that's very rude, sweetheart. Come on, lovely. Up we go. Wait. Oh, you... Boogers! Yep. It's a bosomy woman. Top of the morning to you, Dorothy. Job done. <laughs> Alma's up next. I'll meet you outside her room. All right. I can't. Wait. That's the nurse's station, right? Oh, right, okay. In all. There we go. Uh oh. Alma! What in God's name are you doing on the floor? Are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Oh no. Come on the other side and give me a hand, Lorelei. Lucky lady, not a scratch on you. What is all that? God, I'm gonna feel all that lifting in my back for a week. So thanks for that, Alma. We're young and strong. We'll be fine. <laughs> I like your attitude, girl. But now we have all this mess on the floor to clean up. What is it, anyway? I don't know. We shall have a look. Is it glass or paper? A paper. Looks like... a letter. It's... a very old letter. A whole bunch of them, actually. They put them back together. My darling wife. I am writing this letter in case I don't make it through tomorrow. We have just received orders to attack first thing in the morning. Now you wipe 
your ass with it? Right. And now it's time for a coffee break. What? So soon? <laughs> what do you mean soon? It's half past ten already. Really? Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. But before we go, can you take the dirty laundry upstairs and chuck it in the wash? Yeah. I've left the laundry bag by the nurse's station. Cool. Got it. Say. Take these stairs. Oh, these weren't the right stairs to take. Whoops. That's where the dirty laundry goes. Oh, yes, of course. Can do. Mr. B just called. He won't be coming in today. Okay. Oh, okay. He'd crashed his car this morning. Apparently, some dog chasing a cat ran out in front of it, and he drove into a lamppost to avoid running them over. Whoops. Then I thought you mentioned a dog earlier. You wouldn't have anything to do with this, would you? Surely there's more than one black dog in this city. I didn't uh, say it was black. Whoops. No? No. But it was, in fact. Mr. B mentioned that for some reason. And you knew. Interesting. So what? I saw a black dog. It barked and growled at me. I found a way around, but it made me late. End of story. We'll see. We'll see? What yeah. Do you mean? For real. I'm doing my best here, so please stop picking on me. But Laura, I'm just trying to teach you some respect. Respect. I'll try harder now. Having this job is important to me. I will do anything to keep it. In that case, go and make us all a cup of tea. Can do. Oh, Maria's already on it. Go on then. I'll be down shortly. I'd ask her to put plenty of milk in it. Okay. She always forgets. Plenty of milk, check. I guess I'm going to the nurse's station. Alright. The red mug is yours. Mmm. It smells lovely. Oh, I met Zoe upstairs. She asked for a cup of tea as well. Yeah, I made it. I always make it. The yellow mug is Zoe's. Did you put plenty of milk in? Yes. Looks almost black to me. Ugh, I don't know. I don't drink tea. You know... We don't want to piss her off more, so... You go ahead. I'll get more milk from the kitchen and join you in a minute. Oh, you're a gem. Thank 
Thanks. <laughs> Wait, what about Nisha? Oh, Nisha drinks water. She's all right. There we go. Wait a second. What's this? No, we're not doing that. No, I couldn't. No. Could I? No, Lorelai, we're not doing that. Maybe on a subsequent playthrough. Didn't I tell Maria I'd put more milk in Zoe's coffee before we right. go? Oh, right. My bad. I'll just leave it here for Zoe. All right. I will take mine. Ah, it's a spray sunshine. bottle. Yay! Praise the sun. What? It's from a... Oh, never mind. Do you want one? No, thanks. I don't smoke. Oh, fair enough. I'd go on a killing spree without my fags, I think. Again, cigarettes. Really? You don't seem anything like that. Yeah, but this job can be so bloody stressful sometimes. Like, you have no idea. I'd go mental mental oh go on have one it's not gonna kill you um no really i'm all right don't start smoking your loss i'm having two then so why do you want to work here of all places Well, I couldn't afford to go to college, so that kind of limits my choices. But I can't stay at home anymore either. The sooner I move out, the better. And for that, I need money. Oh, so you can like rent a place? I'm thinking more of a one-way ticket to New York. What? Oh, I kind of hoped you'd stay. The thing is, I really want to get as far away from my stepdad as possible. He's just a big bag of shite. Indeed. Has he... I'd never let him. God, I'd rather die. Uh, but you know, it'll be okay. You'll stand on your own two feet and none of that will matter. And in the meantime, if you need a friend, <laughs> I suppose you've got plenty of friends already. Mm. All my friends from school just moved on. Even my best mate, Carrie. She still texts me once a month, but she never comes over anymore. It's fine, though. She's got enough going on. You should try internet. It's what I do. Internet? I'm in this group, and we talk about kids, mostly. I can't go on the internet. My mum won't pay for the Wi-Fi. Wait. Did you say you got kids? Yeah, I got two boys. I was only 17 when I had Kieran. And Sam, only two years later. Wow. You married then? No. How about you? 
You got a boyfriend? Nope. I can't afford any distractions right now. I've got a plan, and I'm sticking to it. Good for you. Who needs men anyway, right? Waste of time. That's all they are. We are not. But... <laughs> Me and you... We should be friends. I agree. Unless... <laughs> Unless you'd rather be friends with Zoe. Well, we do have this special connection, me and her. Oh, I noticed. You should have seen us in the laundry room earlier. She was like, yay, you're so great, Laura. Let's be best friends. Really? No. She was horrible. Oh, she's just insecure. I told you. Well, I won't let her bully me. She'll give it up soon. <laughs> Once you get to know her. She ain't so bad. <laughs> You'll see. We should probably get back now. Probably. It's time to see that new lady. Okay. I'll meet you outside her room. Which? It's upstairs. Oh. What's her name? Oh, um... Retta, I think. Retta? Yeah, I remember someone's mentioned she was an artist. And she's got some creepy-ass paintings in her room. But she's new, so she hasn't got a name tag yet. So Beryl. Just look for the door with no name tag on oh, it. Oh, okay. I believe I know where that's at. It must have been used for spraying plants and flowers. It's mine now. Sit. Stand. Okay. Okay. Upstairs. Door with no name tag. We can do this. Who are you? The name tag on this door is missing. Is it this room? Hmm. Yep, probably this room. Hello. Are you... Greta? Get it out. I must get it out. That's upsetting. Well, that wasn't expected. Well, this is it. Rest in peace, my love. Come on, let's go, girls. Laura, you stay. Stay. Look, in a place like this, you see people die. Sometimes a year goes by and they're all fine. And then you suddenly get three dead in one week. You never really get used to it. But there's something you have to accept if you want to work here. And most of all, don't 
blame yourself. It was Greta's time to go. That's all it is. You uh, think you're going to be all right, mate? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Let's go then. There's still lots to do. You'll be okay. Yeah. I'll be fine. Let's just keep busy. What's next to do? Oh, there's like a million things. But first, do you play chess? <laughs> It's like the world's weirdest montage. See the lightning. It's gonna rain in a minute. Well, that's just bloody fantastic, isn't it? And another one. Oh, come on. My back is aching. I just want to go home now. Is there anything left to do? Nah. They're all in bed now. We'll just hang around the nurse's station trying to look busy and wait for the night staff. Let's go then. It's getting chilly out here. Up. It's cool. Do you hear that? What? No. Exactly. Nice and quiet, at last. Oh, bloody hell. Why did I say that? What is it? It's the alarm system. It's the bell alarm. Someone just pressed it by mistake. It happens. Can you check the panel for me? Yeah. Certainly. Just give it a whack. It'll silence it. The sound it makes is really annoying. But I can't just give it a whack, can I? But... Zoe will go mental if I break it. Which room is it? It says 11. Room 11. Room 11? That's the room with Greta. Yeah, why? Whose room is it? Are you sure it's 11? Yeah, it says 11. Well, yes, absolutely. Come on. 
Who lives in that room? Greta. The dead lady. Maggots. Maggots. Ugh. Oh, I hate maggots. But we still need yeah, my to hair is itching to now. Where's Zoe? She's doing the meds now. And when Zoe's doing the meds, it's generally best not to talk to her. Why is Greta's body still there anyway? Oh, they'll take it later tonight. Right. Then... Let's find a way to get rid of these... things. Um, so I've got the spray bottle. I think these are used for cleaning. By the smell alone, I can tell it's powerful stuff. Yeah, let's take those. There's no water in the bottle. Where am I gonna get water from? The kitchen, maybe? Yeah, let's check the kitchen. No, not the kitchen. My eyes sting. Yeah, let's go try that. There we go. Oh, they didn't like that, did they? Horrible little buggers. Yeah. So, we're going in? No, no, no. You know me, I get scared of my own shadow. Maria, I don't want to do this on my own. There's no way I'm going in there. Sorry, Lorelei. Fine. I'll go and turn off the bell. I've got Nisha. But you owe me. Light. But where's the bloody button that turns it off? Um. What a storm after such a beautiful sunny day. It's proper raining now. Okay. <sighs> Where is that bloody? Oh, 
How did she manage to craft the spell? I don't know. I don't like doing this. Is YouTube. This was a prank. <laughs> well, what do you think it was? Dead people don't ring their bells, do they? But we rang the bells, silly. Not Greta. <laughs> you really believed it was her, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. That was precious. You're kind of a terrible person. You filmed me? <laughs> yeah, so? You can't do that. <laughs> Look, we always do that to new stuff. <laughs> it's funny. Get over it. You said you scare easily, and then you pull off something like this. <laughs> like I'm gonna be scared of one dead lady. I've seen a hundred of them. They don't bother me no more. But she... Oh, for God's sake. It's just a body. It's not like it's gonna grab you and eat your brains or something. So it... didn't move? Of course it didn't. It's just lying there like a sack of potatoes. Mm. You knew about this too, Nisha? Yes, of course. I ring the bell. Laura very scared. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, you got me. Well done. <laughs> Keep the peace. You're one of us now. Welcome to Pinecroft, Lorelei. But you shouldn't have worried. Except for Greta, sadly, passing away. Well, everything's been hunky-dory. Oh, and that new girl, Laura. Or is it Lorelei? Yeah. She's done all right. 
still a little rough around the edges. But I think we could make a good carer out of her. Well, that's nice. Cheers for the umbrella, Zach. Right? Chapter 3 A Lonely Seashore That's probably a good stopping place. That's really cool. So that's uh, the end of chapter two. We'll pick up on chapter three soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, leave a comment, like. Let me know how I'm doing. Appreciate it.